United bandits have ambushed troops of the forward operational base and that of the Special Operational Command operating in KB State for the purpose of clearance operation. According to reports, the incident, which occurred around Maki village of the state on Tuesday, left seven soldiers dead. According to a source familiar with the incident, the seven slain soldiers consist of four naval special force personnel and three soldiers of the army. Outside the seven, five of the soldiers who suffered gunshot injuries, two others were still missing as of the time of filing this report. Some sources briefed on the incident said the bandits came in large number, which forced the troops to withdraw after engaging them for a while. Some of the items the bandits scattered away were seven AK-47 rifles, one anti-aircraft gun and one Russian machine gun. They, however, set ablaze four Toyota Helios brands and one automatic Grenada launcher before filling into the bush. Search and rescue operations are currently ongoing in the area for the missing soldiers, our source reports. <sighs> oh my God. I don't even know what to say again. <laughs> Nigeria is gone. That is just the truth. Nigeria is finished. It's only God can rescue Nigeria from this calamity. Bandits, key soldiers, naval officers, and cartered away their, their AK-47 and some other weapons from soldiers to continue their evil art. God will deal with them anyway. But the fact that the government are not actually looking into the activities of these people is really very painful. Now, the question is, how are we going to get out from, from here? We find ourselves because it seems that <laughs> our leaders they have actually lost focus i'm saying it again they've lost focus students in nigeria <laughs> god have mercy they have turned to untouchable they cannot be touched even those mediating for them they are lords the government is busy chasing agitators Forgetting the real thing. We are not even talking about the economy of the country. They don't forget that matter. People, they die of hunger. So many things they keep people from Nigeria. Students, they key. Uh, Fulani killers, they key. Hunger, they key. So if these people not kill you, hunger will remove you. This is just too much. Anyway, guys, let's hear what Nigerians have said. But if this happened in the north, you won't wait for God to deal with them, oh, because we know that nobody is going to talk about God. And truly, and that is the truth, because the next thing you see genocide against Satanists, may your end be worse than those beasts in uniform, Buhari. If it were in Imo state or Delta state, what do you think Buhari will say? Northern leaders lie. Lion Mohammed, how market? Why silence? Tell us if it's IPOB that carried out the killing. People deceiving themselves. One Nigeria is a big scam. And our useless government is fighting those demanding for their rights. Nigerians are talking. Cry the beloved country, blood, tears, and sorrow everywhere. We are all vulnerable and expired. We can't tell the next victim. What cause, what misfortune, what evil has befallen this country? Oh my God, save us from these people. Bandits, aids, business. Bandits are businessmen. They disturb them from their businesses. Useless country. Bandits did not kill. They are only doing their businesses. These are Nigerians reacting. You know, as you can see here, some are saying that if this, you know, killing that have happened in the, the southeast that by now <laughs> something else don't they happen for them and all that <laughs> i i said it when i started that i don't know what to say because the whole thing is just tiring it has turned to a tradition in this country 
that there is no day you won't hear how bandits kill, how Boko Haram kill, and all that. I'm saying it again that the most painful thing is that our leaders have lost focus. I don't know what is what is actually the problem. Is it that they don't have the capacity to fight this insurgency in Nigeria? Is that the problem, or they are just being afraid of fighting them? Or they don't just want to do it. The whole thing is just confusing. And this is disturbing. How are we going to continue all like this every day by day? These people, when they die, they not be cow. They are not be goat. They not still be foul. They be human being like us. In fact, I love, I love what somebody said here. He said, everybody now is vulnerable to this to this problem because you don't know who, who is going to be the next person. If you say that in your house they will not come, you don't go to farm, they are not going to kill you there. What of white traveling? Even the roads are not they are not safe. Because one thing is sure, our roads are bad because of bad governance, bad leadership. If accidents not kill you for road because of ban, bad road, bandit fistic just come there. They kidnap you or kill you. Or Boko Haram. So the problem eh, is really very, very long. And we don't know how it's going to end. I'm saying it again. Even now, people are crying, let APC go. Let Buhari go. Maybe if Buhari go, APC member will still enter, right? Then, what's going to happen? What's going to be the next thing? So the thing is, we just have to pray that God will intervene. I'm saying it again. God should intervene in this, in this our present condition right now because we are helpless. That is it. No matter how you talk, no matter how you look at the situation of things, Nigerians are helpless. Yeah, we are just helpless. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Hit the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.